Hey, we're Hearts and Rockets. Thank you so much for tuning into our live stream and in the uh, video premiere of our new single, Milk Bar, which will be coming after our live set. Um, before we play tonight, we'd just like to acknowledge that we are performing tonight on the land of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. And we'd like to pay our respects to their elders, both past, present, and emerging. Um, we've got a bunch of songs to get through. We're going to play our video clip, then we're going to do a Q&A. Thanks to everyone that sent questions. Thank you. And thanks so much to the city of Yarra and Leaps and Bounds for having us as part of the festival this year. We are going to start tonight with a, with a cover, which we never really do. Yeah. So. Let's see how that goes. short and sweet and the first couple contain two notes each
Is anyone ever really ready for the man?
Okay, so now I play guitar for a while. Both of our albums finish as songs about Doctor Who. Um, I think anyone that's seen this live probably knows that because we talk about Doctor Who all the time. <laughs> um, but that was the silence off the end of our first album, Dead Beats, and we're going to play Tunnel Vision, which is the last song on our album, Power. We played a bunch of songs off that tonight. Um, if you feel like you wanted to pay entry fee for the gig tonight and can afford to do so, we're thinking the best way to do it is probably to jump on our band camp, buy our new single. It's listed as a dollar, but you can pay what you feel. Or if you're there and you want the record or some merch, like that's actually what helps us. So, so thanks. Yeah, thanks if you can and if thanks you can't. Thanks for listening. It's thanks so for fun. watching. Yeah. Thanks for being a part of the community. Yeah. That we need. It's everyone being part of the community. We miss playing live so much, <laughs> so this is really fun. Thanks again to everyone. Got a couple more songs to go though. Actually, I'm going to have a sip. Do you want a drink? Yeah. yeah. It is thirsty work. Not quite as thirsty as playing at somewhere like the Old Bar, which is probably where we would have done this launch 
if it wasn't the time that it is and that is kind of part of the celebration tonight leaps and bounds is always celebrating venues in the city of yarra and how much they contribute to the melbourne live music scene and you know there's so many venues that we just love and respect so much that we miss so much so thank you to everyone that's hanging in there and to all those that have lost their venues we love you and support you in whatever you do in the future um, it's brutal times but thank you for engaging with this as well it's really important to keep live music going um oh bar we particularly miss you though yeah we can't wait to get back to playing live in real life with people in the future <laughs> our dog is listening <laughs> i won't call her because she'll ruin our video <laughs> sticking around for a little while afterward for some Q&A so make sure you stick around for that. This is our most recent song apart from the one that came out today, most recent single. As you said it came out three months ago to the day and it was one side of a split seven inch with Roulette Records and Psychic Hysteria putting out this song and Zigzag um, crying all the way to the bank and it was a real special thing. Thank you so much to everyone involved yeah. and to Matt Chow yeah. for mixing and mastering and playing live drums on this track too if you hear it. And that seven inch is still available. I think there's about 20 left. So if you want to get it on it. Oh my time, but I had enough 
to Hearts and Rockets. Right now we're going to play our brand new video clip for our new single, Milk Bar, which is available so on the fun. internet. It's going to be on streaming services on Wednesday. It's available on our band camp now. And after that, we'll have a quick Q&A. Thank you. We love you. as well it's so nice to play live again yeah. hey before we get to some questions i wanted to ask you Kalindi, yes because that was so cool and that song is so cool how did it all come about uh, it was one of our first songs we ever wrote at on a whim on the way to the milk bar when we moved here to melbourne we were walking down the street late at night um and i think i was just thinking about things i wanted from the milk bar and i started singing i want a passiona 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 that's great actually because we do have a question from thomas Moore. hello thomas um, first time listener, long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> he asked, What would you like from the shops that isn't mentioned in your new single milk bar? Uh, um, I can answer what you think. Oh, yeah. So I, I went down to the milk bar today. I've got, I've got a bag of the toys and I've got all this stuff. So probably still in here. But I've got these. We used to call them witchy grubs. Yeah, I think it's the um, I haven't eaten a real witchy grub as a dare in my grade four, and they taste better, but. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't prepared properly, but they don't taste like anything. But I was really happy to see them because I haven't seen them since about 1993. Yeah. Oh, I just remembered. Like a snack crackle bar, is that what they're called? Those like fizzy, yeah, that's what I would think. Like candy with fizzy bits. Yeah. 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 Cool. Well, we don't know much time. Um, we have this great series of questions from Carsten in Richmond. Thank you, Carsten. Where did your distinct production style come from? Did you set out to achieve a certain sound first based on influences, or did it just sort of happen? If it did just sort of happen, then when did you realise that it existed? And once you realised there was a unique continuity, did you make a conscious effort to stick with it? Um, I think a lot of that comes from just being a DIY person and like learning skills to do things yourself because we, I mean, like we can't really afford to pay people to do stuff for us. And um, yeah. Yeah, we definitely like set out to make things sound a certain way, but they also sound a certain way on top of or alongside that because we've recorded it in our bedroom. Yeah, and because of the people we listen to, I guess. Yeah, we've yeah. definitely got influences that are pretty obvious, I think. But um, yeah, we set out to like make a band that sounded a certain way and we've accomplished that. And <laughs> that we could, let's talk about that longer later. I'm really sorry, <laughs> we've got like a minute left. Um, we have some more questions to get to. Sarah in Preston, hello Sarah. Hi Sarah. Um, what three lollies absolutely have to be in your lolly bag? Three lollies. Oh, okay. So I thought about this before. I like these little things called fizzos, and they're not in every milk bar apparently, but they were where I lived in the country in New South Wales growing up. These tiny little pastel, like hard candies that broke your teeth and they're covered with sour stuff. I don't know what it is, but it's delicious. Uh, I know what you mean now. You yeah. mentioned them earlier today. Fizz I, I are they called fizzos? I don't think so. Fizzos are the long fizzos. bars that are like purple or hot pink or. No, yellow. they're fizzers. Oh, uh, yeah, they're fizzers. 
Alright. Uh, Bodhi and milk bar. Buy on this Go buy stuff. some candy. Like, could you imagine being in COVID and being a milk bar operator? Like yeah. how candy. stressful yeah. that would be. Go and buy your milk from there or bread from there or eggs from there or whatever. Yeah. Seriously. Like, they need it's it so bad. Um, what came first? Alicia and Preston, thank you for the question. What came first? The song or the shopping list? Uh, the shopping list? The okay. song! The I, book. I don't know, literally but... Literally exactly the same yeah. time. It was like, what do you want from the book? But I don't know, what do you want? That's it, that's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, support your local milk bar. Um, head on to our band camp to purchase said single... Thank you. 